Now then, we're back on with this um, Pylon 2000 Extra and I found out one or two things so without any further ado let's just crack on with the footage that I've um, captured okay if you remember um, recently I did a video about a pylon lithium iron phosphate battery and one of the batteries are we on volts was only showing 9 volts okay and I thought that was faulty excuse that tape there because I have actually dug into this one this is one of the other ones this is number 2 yeah and these ones are 12.8 so one would naturally assume that four packs in series they would all be the same wouldn't you well this is about as weird as a weird thing okay let's zoom down on this a bit okay so I just took the knife gently round there these are really quite rural cases but this is 2016 this battery so I actually just went round where's the Stanley just went round gently like that and you can see here how they're just taped, the top's taped on. Okay, so let's just lift this up gently. Bit difficult to see. I think we need to move the camera in. So this is battery number four, yeah, and let's just whiz round to look at the case. There's the case, so we have one, two, three, four, okay, and there's all the plugs and everything this end. Later on, I'll show putting that back together. Okay, so here we go. We have four wires. Put the voltmeter up here. We can't quite get that. There we go. I think we're there. So we have between the negative and that one 3.2 we have between that one and that one 3.2 and between that one and that one nothing and between there and positive nothing and between there and the positive nothing so that is a bit peculiar okay and let me just show you this okay let's just zoom out a bit what do you reckon to that there's only six there that's a pair that's a pair and that's a pair and they've blocked it off what okay right so we have another one here this is number three do you know I just had to do this because 
I have two of these batteries and both of the batteries the end cell with the big positive coming out of it they were 9 volts both of them so I was thinking we had a fault with that pack right but it seems that's not the case it seems like that's how they're built right where are we okay can we see that we can see that so between the negative and the first one 3.2 between the first wire and the second wire 3.2 these are all the balanced charging wires between the second and third 3.2 and between the third and fourth 3.2 and that wire there the end wire there and the positive are the same okay so you'd expect four lots of two in there yeah making up a total voltage of can you see that? Twelve point eight four. Right. Two, 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 two. Yeah. So why on earth does the end one with the big positive on both both sets of batteries? have only three in it when on these batteries it sort of says that they're 10 volts each so it must be a way of um, balancing the voltage so what I thought was a faulty cell that one there showing only nine and a bit volts is not the case it's it's designed like that there you go weird stuff so I'm just going to take these back now and then put them back in the case right here's another weird thing perhaps I'll have to move the camera in I've got a set of scales here Okay. Now these whole battery packs weigh 25 kilos. So that battery weighs three and a half kilos. All right. So the batteries themselves weigh um, where are we? Four threes to twelve plus another two. That's 14 kilos. So the case itself weighs 11 kilos. Right, there you go, there's another thought. So let's put the batteries back in. Now then, the one with the black tail on it is number one. And it goes in like that. And number one BMS plugs into number one and the black comes round and plugs into there okay number two that's number two we got a black we got a red there so we'll have this one like this and number two BMS plugs into number two just 
try and get that lined up correctly. There we go. Um, those should plug together. Number three, which is, are we getting all this lot? Yeah. Yeah. Number three is here. So we've got a red at the bottom, so we've got a black at the bottom. Number three goes in there. Okay, and number three, BMS cable plugs in. Bit fiddly. And then that red one there plugs into that black one there. There we go. And then number four. Uh -huh. We've got a bit of a... That's it. They really are quite dead rural, these cases. But then it's 2016, so... We've got top to top. Yeah, it's probably early days. Okay, so that's number four BMS cable which goes through there and it's all getting rather busy down there cable wise there we go and then this red one connects to that black one and some of these pins have got flats on them so We've got to go the right way around. There we go. And then the red the red one, which is this one, plugs into the board. Where are we? Okay, so that plugs into the board. If you can see there's a flat there and a flat there and there are rounds there. So it is that way round. And difficult to see with the camera. Difficult for me to do with the camera in place. Right. Now then. Let's um, move the camera. the batteries back in and I'm just going to switch that on oh right we've got activity down there okay stick this on 200 volts and positive at the bottom oh whoopee Difficult to hold those there. Can you see that? Forty eight volts. Brilliant. But um, there you go. Also, interesting. Now, don't ask me, it must be a voltage balancing thing. But I would have thought that if you want to do forty eight volts, you'd have four lots of pockets in each. Never mind. I think we're back to um, stage one now. So let's just get the charger out and um, show what's happening there. Can you see that? 31 amps. Right, okay, we'll leave that for a while just to um, to boost those cells because obviously they're quite low. Let me just see if I can zoom into that. There you go.
we'll see how we get on. Any comments, much appreciated, with discussion about the general, uh, why that number four pack is how it is. And um, what I'm going to do is when this is charged up, I'm going to uh, put it in parallel with our big lead acid battery pack and just see how it behaves. It's got an over voltage protection so I don't think there'll be a problem. Catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.